I declare the congregation open. Chancellor, members of the university, guests, and especially all of you graduating today, I can't tell you how much of a great pleasure it is for me to be able to welcome you here in person on what is a very special occasion. And we're thrilled to have uh, an opportunity to celebrate like this, to mark your achievements, particularly given the challenges of what has been a very tough year. It has been a hard time to be a student, and that is always true, but particularly through a global pandemic. Some of you uh, may have lost loved ones, and my deepest sympathies do go out to those of you affected in that way. But for those of you graduating, we are well aware of the unprecedented challenges that you have had to face as you've completed your degree. Your graduation, your degree is a testament to your resilience and determination. And of course, you have done that, not just through your own efforts, but with the support of tutors, of families, friends, partners, who I know will be feeling justifiably proud of you today as we on the stage are. We're here to celebrate the achievements of our students from the Faculty of Science and Technology. And I would like to make special mention of today's Chancellor's Medal winner, Hannah Thomas. And I'm very pleased to welcome you all, therefore, to this ceremony. Degree ceremonies, while formal occasions, are events to be enjoyed. We're not on Zoom or Skype, and I would encourage all of you to applaud our graduates enthusiastically at the appropriate times during the ceremony. It is a day of celebration. Um, it may be a, a day that extends into the night. In the end, there are no easy postgraduate degrees at Lancaster. Every single person who will walk on stage has earned their degree through commitment, dedication, and sheer hard work. So today we celebrate the fact that each of you has proven 
that you have not just the intelligence, but also the incredible resilience to rise to a challenge and to beat it. Postgraduate graduation ceremonies recognize the very significant commitment that you've had to your studies and your chosen field. The steps that you take across the stage are symbolic of the hard work that you have put in, as well as the exciting new opportunities that await you. Today marks the end of an era, but also a new beginning as an alumnus of Lancaster University. You're joining a community of thousands of Lancaster graduates from virtually every country in the world, a network which we know will provide support, advice, as well as friendship throughout your lives. And for those of us on the stage, we are desperate to hear how your story continues, so do please keep in touch with us. Our students and graduates are amongst our finest ambassadors, and our hope is that wherever your future takes you, you will continue to represent this university by becoming engaged in your local communities, helping us to build our reputation as a world-leading institution and changing this world for the better. While you're doing all of that, we will be keeping up our end of the bargain, securing the enduring value of the qualification that you are receiving today. Depending on which league table you like, we're ranked uh, up in the 10% of over 130 universities in the UK. And we're also uh, inching up the international league tables too, currently 132nd and 122nd out of more than 1,000 universities in the QS and Times rankings. Our ambition, of course, is to be a top 100 university worldwide, and we are slowly getting there. In the Research Excellence Framework, 83% of our research was rated as either internationally excellent or world leading. Some of that research you will have been involved with for the next assessment. Winning the Times and Sunday Times International University of the Year uh, further cements Lancaster as an elite university. Lancaster is and will remain a university open to the world. We have a campus in China, another in Ghana, one in Malaysia, and our latest opened campus is in Leipzig in Germany. We are a global university. In Lancaster, we're proud of the fact that we welcome students from more than 183 countries worldwide, and our staff themselves come from all parts of Europe and beyond. It's that rich diversity that they bring and you bring to campus life. It benefits us educationally. It also prepares us and our students for life in an increasingly global society. So we celebrate that you have graduated from a top performing university and you graduate with your peers from the Faculty of Science and Technology, a diverse and ambitious faculty which produces globally significant research across many areas that affect all of us, from air pollution, climate change, to much, much more. Success, in whatever form it takes, is inherently about people. And behind each of the successful individuals we celebrate today will be that team of family, friends, and colleagues working together, helping us achieve our dreams and aspirations. On this special day, I do ask those of you graduating, just to remember those of you that have supported through your degree and perhaps recognise it at some point in the day, whether it's a staff member, a friend, family member or partner. Their support and encouragement has, I'm sure, been one of the things that has made a real difference to those challenging moments through your journey through the university. And it's wonderful that so many of your friends and families can be with us today and in person. And you do join that special community uh, of alumni of the university. There are, I am told, 160,000 uh, in that same category. It's a community that expresses the very best of today's world. High achievers, great thinkers, top leaders, people making a difference in communities both local and global, in industry, in charity, private companies, and in public services. You come from many different backgrounds, and you will end up living and working in very different locations. But in the end, you are part of a community all bound together by a common history founded here. So when you leave here, you will always take something of Lancaster with you. Memories, of course, friends that you've made, 
staff members who you've met and interacted with, the knowledge that you've gained, what you've learnt from your studies. Above all, though, what I hope you will take away from you, from Lancaster, is what you've learned about yourselves. You've learnt that perseverance pays off. If you follow your dreams, you can rise to that higher level. If you listen to your hearts, you can achieve great things. Each of you has proved that you have what it takes to make a success of life. This is a happy occasion, celebrating that success, celebrating the next step in your journey. So congratulations once again, and I wish you all the very best for your future lives, whatever path they may take. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I present these members of Lancaster University Faculty of Science and Technology who are worthy to receive higher degrees of the university. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Ibitoye Adalusi, an efficient future energy storage system incorporating fluidized bed of microparticles. <laughs> Craig Armstrong, novel non aqueous symmetric redox materials for redox flow battery energy storage. Mark Ashton, Organic Electronic Biomaterials for Bioelectronic Regenerative Medicine. <laughs> Ebenezer Adiolo Babalola, Application of a Diffusive Passive Water Sampler to Investigate the Fate of Organic Pollutants. Olivia Brown, Teamwork in Extreme Environments. Tom Andrew Claxton, Sources and Impacts of Chlorinated Very Short-Lived Substances. Gustav Dagen, Exploiting diversity in the regulation of carbon assimilation to improve wheat productivity. <laughs> Ilo Kukbe Ita, unravelling the complexities of protein stability using Raymond spectroscopy and 2DCA. <laughs> Charlotte Helen Farr. Indoor air quality, causes, controls and consequences. <laughs> Miriam Ferro Werther, the graphene ring nanoelectrode and its application in an electroanalytical sensor. <laughs> Peter Fletcher. Density functional method development and influence of molecular structure on excited states. <laughs> J. 
Jack Garnett, investigating the environmental fate of synthetic chemicals in the Earth's polar regions. <laughs> Joshua Gittins, organic phosphorus dynamics across agricultural landscapes. <laughs> Emma Gray, Meteorological and Climatic Impacts on the Phytoplankton Community of a Lake. <laughs> Alexander James Greveson, Time of Flight Neutron Spectroscopy for Isotopic Discrimination. Jonathan Griffin, CPRMPs, novel candidates for the environmental control of photosynthesis. <laughs> Sophie Lau, structure function relationship of a theoroprotective APOAI mutants in high di density lipoproteins. Pei Leo, embodied linguistic conceptual representation during metaphor processing. <laughs> Thomas Mondaine Munval, understanding declines in a beautifully frustrating bird, the common sandpiper. <laughs> Andrew Peter Morale. Computational flow analysis and optimization of an annular jet pump. <laughs> Rosie Newton, characteristic responses of a COT CCD to alpha beta and neutron induced triton radiations. Helen Maria O'Donnell, the use of small neutron detector arrays for the assessment of nuclear materials. <laughs> Adesola Samson Ojo, effects of soil amendment with an anaerobic digestate and wood ash on biodegradation of PAHs. Frederick Otulabi, understanding the role of abiotic stress in biosphere-atmosphere exchange of trace gases. <laughs> Kay Rawlins, effects of dyslexia on problem solving, strategies and interventions for syllogistic reasoning. Kieran Reeves, optimization for dynamic modeling, path planning, and energy management in hybrid race vehicles. <laughs> Heather Rusco, agricultural impacts on plant beneficial pseudonomads. <laughs> Nilian Sanal. Mass perception of objects in collision events from a developmental perspective. <laughs> Marlene Scooter, ecosystem services and the blue economy, navigating power and values. Priya Silverstein, evaluating the replicability and specificity of evidence for natural pedagogy theory. <laughs> Graham Sinclair, policy mobility in volcanic risk governance. <laughs> Rachel Smith, using Raymond spectroscopy to evaluate the effect of CBD on single cells. Chris Tai, identification of trace plutonium in high uranium soils. Eleanor Vaughan, 
nutrient impacts on coral reefs captured through microalgal isotopes. <laughs> Andrew William Vint, optimization of photonic band gap waveguides for terahertz driven electron acceleration. Abby Woolwork, linking tree community functional change with soil carbon dynamics in secondary tropical forest. <laughs> Nicola Waring, health and pollution impacts in avoided and future worlds. Robert Waring, analysis and synthesis of slow wave structures for millimetre wave travelling wave tubes. <laughs> Armin Yusefi Kanani, development of novel multi-material adhesive joints. <laughs> for the degree of Master of Arts. Joseph Alexander Baker. <laughs> Holly Ann Gilbert. <laughs> Kerry Holman. <laughs> Abigail Lafbury. <laughs> Sophie Lee. Heidi Louise Lines. <laughs> Malika Joy Owen Arjef. <laughs> Harriet Phipps. By my authority as Vice-Chancellor, I confer upon these members of Lancaster University Faculty of Science and Technology the degrees for which they have been presented. Many congratulations. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I present these members of Lancaster University Faculty of Science and Technology, who are worthy to receive higher degrees and diplomas of the university. For the degree of Master of Science, Amelia Rose Ainsworth. <laughs> Salem Al Hamdani. <laughs> Scott Ambler. <laughs> Charlotte Anderson. Catherine Anthony. <laughs> Thomas Richard Baker. <laughs> Rita Baltazar Moreira. <laughs> Bethan.
Alan Mary Barclay. <laughs> Abigail Francis Barton. <laughs> Rebecca Berry. <laughs> Amy Blaker. <laughs> Rianne Megan Bland. Peter Barman. <laughs> Alistair Bowes. <laughs> Hope Marie Rog Butler. <laughs> Chi Kai. <laughs> Jacopo Calderaro. Jenny Carlson. <laughs> Rachel Carver. <laughs> Emily Victoria Christofferson. <laughs> Rebecca Claire Louise Clark. <laughs> Heather Klein. Lauren Colbert. <laughs> Rachel Cooper. <laughs> Harriet Rose Cooper. <laughs> Alexander John Cotton. Daniel Kenneth Carl Crew. <laughs> Ewan Cronin. <laughs> Tobias Crook. <laughs> Tom Cusworth. <laughs> Emily Davenport. Edward Davis. <laughs> Benjamin Deacon. <laughs> Shannon Delaney. <laughs> Hannah Laura Dixon. <laughs> Thomas Dixon. Emma Catherine Dodsworth. <laughs> Layton Edgington. <laughs> Elizabeth Elwell. <laughs> Saeed Sorush Imordi. <laughs> Chris Evans. Reuben Fisher. <laughs> Phoebe Fulston. <laughs> Matthew Robert Freeman. <laughs> Rebecca Fulton. Louise Emma Gill. <laughs> Rebecca Griffin. <laughs> Lauren Hart. <laughs> Daniel Harvey.
Uh, he's here after all. Oh, he is here. Okay. Philip Hansen. <laughs> Lauren Hart. <laughs> Danielle Harvey. <laughs> Sarah Denton Thompson. <laughs> Eleanor Hill. Katie Hobbs. Ryan Alexander Holland. Amanda Hughes. Megan Hume. Rachel Francis Lily Hurst. Matthew Ivory. Tom Jackson. Ali Jahan Bakshi. Kelly Jansen. Teresa Kamani Kofa. Rhiannon Kamink. Chris Kay. Regan Kelly. Stephen King. Connor Lamb Fulham. Shia Leite Lay. <laughs> Molly Lee. <laughs> Rebecca Leeworthy. <laughs> Harold Daniel Francis Long. <laughs> Matthew Thomas Luthwaite. Sophie Dorothy Lee Kay. <laughs> Naomi Lumsden. <laughs> Catherine Lai. <laughs> Dave Mansfield. <laughs> Andrea Raluca Martinci. Claire Mather. Brandon Nathan Mahuga. Elliot McDevitt. Liam McNichol. Georgia Elizabeth Moore. <laughs> Louise Marie Moisan. <laughs> Miriam Malsha Manui. <laughs> Brandon O'Hanlon. Ikenadili Chukwu Osakwe. Ricky Bonsu Ose. Yaya Patel. Ellen Payton.
Jessica Laura Pepper. Maximilian Edward Fithian. <laughs> Helena Return Pinkan. <laughs> Delith Piper. <laughs> Lydia Potter. Daniel Powell. <laughs> Carly Power. <laughs> Andrew Prest. <laughs> Haley Proctor. <laughs> Marcia Price. Gabrielle Radravishia. <laughs> Isabel Grace Reeves. <laughs> Stuart Rigg. <laughs> Charlie Roberts. <laughs> Luke Rowbottom. Teja Sweeney Suji. <laughs> Matthew Scott. <laughs> Hannah Siney. <laughs> Joseph Michael Slader. Robert Sneesby. <laughs> Scott Spencer. <laughs> Sunit Sran. <laughs> Ewan Joseph Taylor. <laughs> Eleanor Jane Taylor. Hannah Thomas. <laughs> Rebecca Thomas. <laughs> Alexandra Tuneski. <laughs> Rebecca Turner. <laughs> John Turner. Michael Tai, <laughs> Jessica Louise Unwin, <laughs> Jessica Vickery, <laughs> Evita Balna, <laughs> Philip Wadley. Chris Walker. <laughs> Daniel Scott Walsh. <laughs> Patrick John Wapplington. <laughs> ben Welton. Joshua West. Austin Wheatman. Hannah White. Emily Jane Williams. Olivia Wilson. 
Jennifer Wilson. Alexander Wooten. Ji Hong Wu. Zendo. For the degree of postgraduate diploma, Ross Page. For the degree of Master of Science, Abu Bakar Bai Touré. Adedoyin Ua Olua. By my authority as Vice-Chancellor, I confer upon these members of Lancaster University Faculty of Science and Technology the degrees and diplomas for which they have been presented. Congratulations to you all. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate, I present Hannah Thomas, who is eligible to receive the Chancellor's Medal for exceptional mer merit in her programme of story, study. I now declare closed this congregation of the University of Lancaster. Long may the university prosper.
Thank you.